Yao Yang, two factors determine that China will surpass the United States in seven to nine years. Yao Yang, dean of the National School of Development of Peking University, said recently that based on technological progress and the development potential of urban circles, China is expected to surpass the United States to become the world's largest economy between 2028 and 2030. He also predicts that by 2049, when the second centenary goal is achieved, China's per capita income will be at least 45% of that of the United States, and its economic aggregate will be more than twice that of the United States. I think this goal is achievable. I have calculated by myself that as long as our growth rate exceeds that of the United States by 1.5 percentage points, we can achieve this goal, so the next 30 years will be another bright era for China. Yao Yang said at the 2022 NetEase Economist Annual Meeting. In 2020, China's gross domestic product, GDP, reached 101.6 trillion yuan, or about 14.73 trillion US dollars, making it the world's second largest economy. During the same period, the total GDP of the United States, the world's largest economy, was $20.93 trillion. Note, according to data from the State Administration of Foreign Exchange, for the whole year of 2020, the average central parity rate of the RMB against the US dollar was 6.8974. Yao Yang mentioned that some entrepreneurs seem to have lost confidence in the future, but international capital still casts a yes vote for China. He said that according to the statistics of the Organization for International Economics and Cooperation, OECD, in the first half of 2021, China attracted 177 billion US dollars of foreign capital, and direct investment accounted for one-fifth of the world's total. China is once again becoming the world's largest inflow of foreign capital. I dare to make a judgment that China's next 30 Delta years will be the best 30 blast. years in the millennium. The last time I have to go back to the Northern Song Dynasty. Because I believe that technology determines everything. He said that China is currently in the field of general technology, medium technology, etc. In the field, or in the high-tech field, they are in or returning to the forefront of the world. I don't know if you noticed it in Beijing. The parking on the street is now well organized. Why? Because AI, artificial intelligence, is helping, the toll collectors who used to patrol can't be seen now. Occasionally a motorcycle passes by, the rear of the car is loaded. There is a 360 degree camera, which is constantly shooting, and the AI system behind it is also calculating in real time which car is not parked correctly. Yao Yang said. He said that although my country still lags behind the United States in the so-called core algorithm layer, it will definitely surpass Silicon Valley in five years at most ten years. Because technological progress depends on application, without application, the speed of technological progress will slow down, and China's application scenarios are large enough. Shenzhen is definitely expected to replace Silicon Valley as the world's innovation center. He said. Yao Yang said that in addition to technological progress, urbanization is also one of the important factors driving China's long-term economic growth. Economic growth is nothing more than these two factors, one is technological progress, and the other is capital accumulation. There are many people who say that China's capital accumulation has come to an end and will not continue to accumulate. I don't think so, as long as there is urbanization process, capital accumulation will not stop, he said. In the next 15 years, there will still be about 200 million people in China who will enter the city, and the Chinese population will be concentrated. Yao Yang said that it is expected that China will form seven major urban circles in the future, the Pearl River Delta, the Yangtze River Delta, Wuhan Changsha, the Sichuan Basin, Xianxianyang, Zhengzhou, Beijing Tianjin Hebei region, these seven urban circles may concentrate 60% to 70% of the Chinese population. Thank you.
Goodbye.